What's going on guys? So I'll make a quick little update video here of this uh, contrabulous mess I have. So the uh, V6 is back under the knife again. Um, wheel bearing, well axle bearing in the back sounded uh, very, very bad. So uh, I decided to take the rent apart, um, pulled out the, uh, the diff. Um, everything basically is taken apart completely because it was a very bad noise and when I took a part to look at this side axle bearing um, there was so much sludge in the tube that the axle bearing was completely dry so start taking it all apart and all the bearings look like crap so I pressed on new pinion or new uh, carrier bearings in the carrier um, check the backlash backlash was not set correctly when it was put in here um, the gear tooth pattern is not correct either so start to go through it and I'm gonna redo the whole job that somebody else did wrong the axle bearing on this thing though I bought uh, I had these from the Mach 1 when I didn't use them and it's one of these stupid kits you buy um, I've had these for a while but basically it's a bearing and seal combined as one well there's no directions on which way it goes in so I wasn't really sure so I put it in and that sticks out about that far when I actually looked into it closer the both ends have a seal and the small seal end has to go to the outside because otherwise gear oil cannot get through into the bearing so I fucked it up so in an effort to try and get it out um, my slide hammer the kit off Harbor Freight did not fit my slide hammer and my slide hammer is some old piece of shit so I ended up uh, using a uh, like a little U bolt type of dealio and bolted it on and it didn't work out so went to Harbor Freight bought their uh, slide hammer kit so when I got back from Tennessee because I'm going there today uh, for vacation I can come back yank out both axle bearings putting the new ones the correct ones with new seals Get that part done then I can the pinion is seized I can't get the freaking flange off the pinion gear that's completely frozen in there beating the shit out trying to get it out with the nut on it so I wouldn't fuck up the threads and that's not going well so I'll have to get that out yet I'm gonna press on new bearings in the pinion um, because all these bearings look like crap get all that done um, got the truck full of stuff so unfortunately the 09 3 valve GT got destroyed uh, and it hit the garage it's a long story but basically it hit inside my garage and then we got back from the body shop went down to Union Grove to race and uh, the whole front rear of the car is completely destroyed frame is bent cars totaled so we basically spent all this money to have it fixed and now insurance will not cover this because it's on a racetrack so note to yourselves if you crash your car in a racetrack, they will not cover it. So now we're out the entire cost of this. Plus, we got to pay the loan off yet. Um, that's the gap in between the hood. Uh, nobody was hurt, thankfully. Um, but we found a car, exact same car, in Tennessee. So we're going to go and look at it and maybe pick that up. So this will be a whole drivetrain swap and interior swap into a different clean airframe. So when we get on car, we'll show what the car looks like. It's destroyed. Um, but, uh, got loose, she came out, hit the corner in the front, spun it around and then backed it into, uh, the wall, so, no bueno, we have it on video, maybe I'll post a video of it up there, uh, we'll see, but, so, that'll be a winter project of getting that whole car stripped completely down, part swapped into a new car, um, the one we found in Tennessee is a 3-valve, it's a 08, or a 07, rust free Tennessee car so yank the whole drivetrain out of this put it back on there um, thankfully a lot of the aftermarket parts were not damaged this is the stock stuff that came off um, but like the really expensive fog or uh, not fog lights but turn signal lights were not damaged we did save all the original parts off that car before I did the aftermarket stuff so we can at least get it fixed, uh, well, a new car fixed. I wasn't gonna try and fix this one, but it's just, I don't, 
had the body skills, the whole left rear quarter completely smashed in. So, all this shit's going to my storage, where the Mach 1 is at. This thing here has uh, a uh, either bad intake gasket or thermoset housing gasket. And coolant is going to the spark plug wells on the driver's side. But, uh, had to use it today, so. Just a little bit of an update of what I've been up to. Once I get back home, I'll make a video of this whole thing. This car should be done very, very nice and once complete. You know, sway bar, new control arm, spring shocks. I even got new quad shocks for it. Um, got the quad shock brackets. So I'll make a video on how to put those in too and how to retap the holes and all that stuff like that. Um, so stay tuned for that. Uh, like, share, comment, subscribe. I appreciate it. Um, other than that, this is my colossal mess. So we'll talk to you guys later.